everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind Yajan. And we are here in our new home in Balmora that we just purchased off of screen uh, between the end of the last episode and now. And, uh, you know, it's um, kind of just a humble abode that we got here. Um, and we were able to purchase it with just some of the money we got from selling some of our wares here in town. and. Um, looks like we got some water in some of these bottles. Um, like, let's see, should we uh, maybe drink some water? Okay, we're hydrated, very nice. And yeah, this is nice. We we have a place to rest, um, store our things now, and um, we can come back here between our adventures to, you know, store our treasures and whatnot. But um, I think we're just going to get going. Um, let's step outside, and it looks like it's only 8.28, it's early in the morning, we got a whole day ahead of us of adventuring, and we do have a plan for what we're going to do this episode as we step outside, and it is absolutely glorious out here today, um, it's just a sunny, sunny morning here in Balmora, and um, yeah, I'm just going to get a nice view of the city, of, of, of the town. Um, very nice. Now, at the at, in the last episode, what happened was we had a few quests from the Mages Guild that we were going to do, and um, we kind of got lost. We basically, because, you know, in Morrowind, you don't really have, all you have is, like, the description in your journal that the NPC gives you for where you have to go supply. for a quest. And it's very annoying because... A lot of times, those directions are total trash. So Jelmus um, has figured out, I think, where we have to go today um, to complete these quests. We have to go to, uh, yeah, we gotta go to Punabi and Sulipund, which are right next to each other. So yeah, Jelmus has been able to figure out how to get there. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get on the Silt Strider and just make our way up these stairs and talk to the gentleman here runs the Silt Strider service, and we are going to okay, travel see the site. Where can uh, I to Saran. Saran is an agricultural village in the northeastern corner of the Escadian Isles region. Alright, 51 gold, but it's better than going on foot. It saves a lot of time. And we actually have a little bit of gold now, too. Okay. We just arrived in Saran. Um, it's nighttime. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's look at our gold. 1358. So we're doing pretty good right now. Um, now what we gotta do is, we gotta go talk to these people for the Mages Guild that, like, one of them hasn't been paying her dues and has just been, like, kind of hiding away in some, in some old, you know, cave somewhere. And then the other guy is some kind of Telvani person or something, and, um, here, let's go ahead and take out our torch here, or our lantern. Yeah, and the other guy's, uh somebody we gotta convince to join the guild and then if not we have to kill him now that doesn't sound like something very saintly to do um, you are drunk um, but we're gonna just do our best to complete the quest and uh, just see what we can get out of it um, we may not have an option and um, I'm sure we can find a way to square this you know, with our morals, that if we do have to kill him, well, maybe he's a killer himself, and maybe he needs to be stopped. Who knows? The Telvani are known for not being very welcoming to others, and, um, yeah, we're just heading our way here. It's about midnight, and we have a cliff racer approaching. Right, let's take him down. Screw you, buddy. And there are a lot of cliff racers, especially in their natural habitat, which is cliffs. So let's try to get some uh, energy back. There we go. And uh, I think what we gotta do, actually, I think I'm going the wrong way. What we gotta do is, whoa, lighting just changed very abruptly. We got What we gotta do is we gotta go north of Saran along a river for a little while. And I think that is actually this way. So we're got s sort of heading in the wrong direction that's all good and uh, yeah let's just head back through Saran now there's a lot of things that 
have been going on with Jelmus lately. Um, in the last episode, we actually got killed a couple of times, and it seems that the blessings of the divines are still coming through for Jelmus, but he's starting to wonder if there's a limit to that. And, uh, he's starting to wonder, like, what do I gotta do for Akatosh? You know, he worships Akatosh, the, the dragon god of time. I don't think I can actually get, a, get around this wall here, so let's just go around this way. Um... But yeah, maybe Akatosh has been looking out for him, and um, he wants to kind of figure out what exactly he's got to do to appease him. But it feels like he's getting closer to that mystery as he gets stronger. Now, let's just go along here. I think we can, um, yeah, there's a, the, the bridge over the river is here, so yeah, we should have just gone this way. Um, but that's alright, let's just keep going, and, uh, we should get to these dungeons fairly soon. Um, now the other thing we're looking out for is a Dunmer Stronghold, and this is actually going to lead us there, so, at least that's the idea, so, here, let's see if we can, um, alright, we just fell in the river, can we... Okay, and then let's uh, put away our sword. What I really want to do is get water walking. So let's swim straight up. There we go. And let's see, can I get water walking? Yeah, 60 seconds. There we go. Okay, good. Now we're running on the water. We can just run along this river for a little while. And we don't have to worry about the extremely slow swimming or sinking to the bottom that we get when we have our sword out. But we do have to worry about cliff racers. And uh, it's very spooky out here, but looks like that's uh, Daedric Ruin or something. Um, Alright, let's see here. Water walking. Um, it should come up as an effect, right? As a constant effect. Yeah, it just it doesn't show how how much longer we have, but it said 60 seconds. I think we'll be all right. All right, let's just be careful here. Cast this. Okay. Let's keep going before the cliff racers attack. We should be able to get down this river pretty quick. And let's just get this uh, this equipped as well. So when it runs out, we can just pop that again. Let's just keep going. We're just soaring down this frickin' river, like, no problem. Okay, and there it runs out. There we go. And that pops us right back to the surface if we cast it underwater. That's a really nice quality of it. There. So we don't have to actually swim to the surface. Alright, we got a little forager there. Um, I don't know, could, should we... Oh yeah, I'm still water walking. Um, I was going to see if I could get a pearl from the clans. I'm not sure if that works. Holy crap, we got three damn cliff racers stacked on top of one stacked on the other. This one's diseased. You better not make me sick. Alright, you're down. Okay, who's next? Alright. Next in queue, come on. I hate when they do this. I hate when they just hover over you. Oh man, come on guys. Just do your, do your thing, come on. Get down here. There we go, one hit. How about you? Okay, come on, there we go, we got him. Alright, always a nuisance. And there we go, we got a little restoration boost there. Look at this big old netch. He's not bothering us. Alright, we should be seeing a... Basically a, uh, a Dunmer stronghold somewhere around here. This looks like an ancestral tomb. Vandus. Yeah, let's stay out of there. Uh, let's get our uh, freaking... Where's our freaking uh, lantern? There we go. Alright. Let's keep going here. And, uh... Yeah, what we want to do is... 
Every time that we complete quests in the mages... Alright guys, sorry, we are back, we just had a crash, and, uh, but it's all good now, um, so let's just keep going. But yeah, basically every... Oh yeah, that's the stronghold in the distance there, okay. Let's see, do we have water walking? Let's just walk across the river again. Cast that, let's get our energy boost back. Actually, let's get Mother's Kiss if it's a health. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we're coming up to this Dunmer stronghold over here. Now, we're gonna have to go to the north of this. So, yeah. Let's see. Um. Hello, rat. There we go. And, uh, yeah. What I was saying earlier was every rank that we get increased in the Mage's Guild, we get access to more... Uh, people, more NPCs to do business with, do learn new uh, spells, get new services, um, buy new items, etc. And we definitely want to get, take advantage of as much magical stuff as we possibly can. Now let's see, we're coming up to the stronghold here, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, can I get my energy? There we go. Alright, we got an NPC here. Okay, we don't actually need to be here. But these guys are attacking us. Okay, yeah, they're shooting a bow. Yeah. I think we might be better off just leaving them behind, because we don't have to actually go over there. So, yeah, they're just shooting arrows. Let's get away from them. Now, I think if we keep heading north... Yeah, I think this is the way we gotta go. Alright, another rat. It's always nice when you have stamina so you can uh, hit your shots much more reliably. But that's just Morrowind. That's Morrowind for you. Okay, now we're continuing up this trail. Um, and we're starting to hear the sounds of the Ashlands around us. It's about 4.40 in the morning. Now we are rested. We're still rested. We're thirsty. Let's get some water. And let's see. Do I have some food? Yeah. We got scrib jerky. Let's eat those. Alright. Oh, man. Yeah, there's trauma roots. Um, and they will stab us with their thorns. Ouch. We got another cliff racer. Alright, once we take out this cliff racer, I think we're at the spot we need to be. Or at least the first spot. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you gotta take those cliff racers out quickly, because if you don't, well, you can find out why. Alright. Punabi. Now, let's just check our journal. We had to get, uh, Manwe. A guild member in Punabi has not paid any guild dues in three years. Rannis asked me to find her to collect the dues. Okay. Alright, let's go... Here, let's just uh, heal up. There we go. Okay. Alright. Let's get in here. Alright, as we step inside, there's some glowing crystals. It looks like someone's here. Hello. Monwe. Spit it out. Um, I'm here about the guild dues. I left the Mage's Guild and dedicated my life to studying the adaptive responses of quaternary variations in Oblivion Streams. If Rannis Athras wants the dues that much, why don't you just pay them yourself? I am unconcerned with such petty financial matters. Okay, so she's just blowing us off. Let's see. Monway suggested that I pay the gold myself. Can I ask you again? Alright, I can't do anything, but I can try to bribe her. Weird. I'm sure there's someone else you can bother. Alright, well, it doesn't seem like we're getting through to her. Why is there a... S okay, she's up to no good, I can tell. She's got a scamp over here. So she's probably summoning Daedra and shit. Well, I don't know, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure if that's actually a bad thing or not. But, hello there. No, you're hostile. Okay. Holy crap, these are rogue mages in here, man. An expensive rogue? Well, at least we can sell it. Common amulet. Firebite dagger. Expensive shoes. Alright, well, you shouldn't have attacked me. I, I don't instigate fights, but I will end them. 
Now let's see, cure disease recipe. There's a bunch of uh, alchemy stuff here, but I don't want to carry that around. She's got a hearty stew in here. I guess we could eat that. That'll fortify our health. There's a bunch of urns. This has some butter. This just has some sugar. Yeah, this has... what is that? Meadow Rye? Fortifies speed? Hmm. Alright, well it, it, it appears to be a cave full of rogue mages. Who are attacking anyone from the outside on site, except for Monwe. Maybe she's the, the sentry. Are you gonna attack? Fool! Yeah, you are. Oh my god. Oh man. Alright. Okay, we were right here. We had just won this fight. Okay. Alright, let's just get out of here. Um, I'd rather not stick around much longer. And, uh, yeah, this is not a good place. At least Monway doesn't attack us, but I don't know if she's going to say anything else. She doesn't seem to be saying anything else. So... Leave me. Yeah. Let's just get out of here. Let's go to the next location. Alright, here we are. Let's just keep going north. Um, now let's see. The next person we need to talk to is this Telvani guy. Um, uh, Larar Bereloth, I guess? Um, okay. And if he refuses, we gotta kill him. Well, the guild has asked for what they want, so we gotta fulfill the mission if we want to be part of the guild. But here we are. Oh, Forager running up. Got him. Okay, let's just stay away from the trauma roots, because those will stab us. The mosquitoes are very aggressive and well-fed. Okay. And this low depression that's overgrown with spiky-ass vines here must be... Ouch, 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 Sulipund. Okay, here we are. Now let's see. Let's get our health back. And I'm gonna try energy boost. Failed. I'm gonna try it one more time. There we go. Okay. And let's see. We should keep Adrenaline Rush on deck. Alright, let's see. Now, I think this guy is a... This guy's definitely a Dunmer. Who are you? Are you hostile? I don't like you, I don't want to talk to you. Oh crap, it's a trap. Okay, it damaged us a bit. Let's see, okay, our stats are okay. Though. Untrapped, okay. We're good, we're good. I think we're good. Who are you? Brithoth? Why can't I so uh, Apparently, yeah, I think these are Telvani, that's why I can soul battle them. Uh, you don't mind if I take the Cyrodiilic Brandy, do you? I guess not. A little candle here. Hmm. Sure, we'll take it. This is, uh, listed as stolen, so let's not... Okay. You are just... bugging out over there. Let's take out our little candle. Look at that, we got a nice little candle. Don't mind me, I'm just making my way. Old grandpa just making his way with his little, little candle. Yep. Okay. Connell. Alright, we gotta talk to this one guy here. But if I fight him, then all of these people are gonna probably turn on me, right? Then we just gotta adrenaline rush through them all. Okay. There's somebody over there. Don't only the happy hours. I wonder if I could take any of this stuff. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Um, this chest just opens, and I can take all of this stuff. It's not that good, but... You know, I guess we can take it. He doesn't mind. It's not listed as stolen. That's listed as stolen. Need um, I call the gods? Larar Bereloth? Excuse me. I don't talk to people I don't like. Here, let's try again. Okay, join us. Do I look like a fool? Collect your dues from someone else, or at least give me a reason to listen to your drivel. All right, he's not. Um... <sighs> hmm. Can I persuade you? What if I gave you some gold? I'm not taking your money. Get lost. 
How about a hundred gold? It's a start. What else you got? Why don't you join us, buddy? Alright, why don't we try bribing him again? I'm not taking your money. Get lost. Try again. I suppose we can talk more. He, he accepts it. Okay, can you join us? Hmm. I don't like this. I'm trying to persuade him, but I don't have anything except bribery because my speechcraft is not that good. And my personality is awful. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have to, uh... Hmm. I don't like this. We just spent like 200 gold trying to convince this guy to join us, and he's not moving an inch. I'm so hungry. I could eat a rat. God damn. Do we just... Whoa, there's a bunch of gold here. I guess we could take that. Well, I don't know how much gold that actually was. Um... Can I just talk to you about this? Yeah, it doesn't look like he's talking. It seems like he's just refusing. Um, Alright, there's gotta be a way that we can convince him, because I don't want to kill him, right? Because that would be, like, not something that you almost want to do. But then again, this guy is like a Telvanni wizard. Annoying he probably has killed, like, hundred slaves of Argonians. But we don't know that, you know? We can't assume something about a person and just use that against them. Mmm. Okay. I could kill that guy. I can't I go back to the good. Mage's Guild without... I can't go back to the Mage's Guild without trying, so, like, without trying to complete this, you know? Hmm. Alright, so it seems that um, convincing these mages to pay their dues and stuff is going to be really difficult unless we can uh, pretty much get their disposition up. Uh, the only other thing we can do here is to resort to violence, which I don't feel like doing, so I think we're going to actually do another quest. And we're going to head back in the direction of Balmora, and we're going to do something for old Caius Cossades now. Because it seems like we're not having much success with this. So we're going to hit the road and get going to a new objective. Alright, here we are outside. We are starting to feel tired, though. Um, it might be a good idea. Let's see. Let's just look at the map. Balmora is to the west of us. Um, we could also just follow these signs. Uh, this sign actually points back along this way we came. Uh, to get to Balmora. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna just head this way. And if we just head due west, we should be alright. Um, so yeah, let's just keep going here. Get our energy back. And, uh, yeah, we should be... Oh, boy. At our next destination soon. There we go. Oh, hello there. Okay, Ashlanders are attacking us. Oh, they're casting their, uh, man, they're casting their, uh, racial ability. Shit, crap. Alright, let's just see here. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, man. Okay, let's just run. Heal and run. There we go. Oh man. Okay. Oh yeah, I got picked up. No, no, no. Okay, now everything's going wrong, so here's what we do. We divine in intervention out of there. Oh. Holy moly. Okay. Alright. All these... Guards are freaking out. Alright, but we're back here at Fort Moonmouth at least. Alright, holy crap. We are back here at Fort Buckmoth or Moonmoth or whatever. Uh, Moonmoth, yeah. And uh, we had a few crashes there. We basically got attacked by these um, Ashlander tribes and then a like, bunch of cliff racers got involved and it just got really crazy and then. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter because we're back here now. It looks like everything's fine. Um, and uh, let's just go ahead and... Let's see here. 
Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's see. Do we have anything? Looks like our intelligence is down be just because we're tired. Um, but other than that, we're doing just fine. Now, let's see. Um, yeah, they got some merchants and stuff. I don't even think I could uh, talk to these people unless I'm part of the guild. Or I can't do business with them. Are you a butcher? Hello, friend. Can I I'm looking with for you? a particular item. My selections are excellent. She, yeah, she's got a bunch of cheese and yeah, just like grocery type foods. But we got a little bit of food. Let's see if we can get out of here and go over to. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do now, so I think we're just gonna go over and do uh, Arkinthand. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get a bunch of useful stuff out of there, and we can sell that, and that'll help. And, um, yeah, let's just go up this way. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some of these quests, um, have different possibilities depending on what you choose to do. And I want to try to choose the most peaceful option, um, that we can each time. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can work on that. Um, I think we're going to have to just track down some enchanted items. But it looks like we got old Snowy Granius, I think, here. So, let's see. Yeah, Jelmus is like, this man seems familiar. I don't know why, but... I feel like I've fought him in the past life before. And he goes down. Okay. But yeah, here's some ruins up ahead. We gotta go in here and find something for Caius. So why don't we go ahead... Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, Ruby. Uh, Dwemer Centurion parts. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna take much scrap metal, but definitely gems and stuff. We gotta make some more money back after we tried bribing that, uh, that sorcerer or whatever. Larar Bearloth. Alright, let's see. Signs of warns trespassers beware. Okay, oh, hold on. Let's see here. Let's go here. Okay. Boom. And we're in. Alright. Hopefully this place has some useful stuff and isn't too dangerous. But there are a bunch of people in here. So let's start looking around. We gotta find something in here. But yeah, let's see. People are pulling daggers out. Okay. Okay, let's see. Get this, there we go. Yeah, let's just let them come up to us. I'm gonna look around here and see what we can find. Um, miner's pick. Okay, here they come. I have you. Okay. There we go. There we go. Sliced him up. Okay. This guy just some gold. You just some gold. And, uh, yeah, what we want to look for is, uh, definitely, like, valuable gems, because there's a lot of that in here. Anything else is not really that useful. Actually, whoa, crossbow of accuracy? I think we're going to take that, sure. That sounds pretty cool. Might come in handy later. And, uh, yeah, that could probably replace our steel crossbow. Yeah, but it requires a higher marksman skill. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff we gotta work on. Let's just keep looking here. And, uh, yeah, definitely getting more of that marksman in there would be cool. That'd definitely be a good... good option. Let's see our way through the darkness a bit better. Here's another guy. Okay, come on. Fool! There we go. Yeah, we only attack in self-defense. There we go. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, cells of hollow hand. Very creepy in here. Um, a cooked guama egg. I guess we could take that as food. Emerald. We'll take it. Uh, what's that? Centurion Sphere Schematics. I don't even know what to do with these things, because we can't sell Dwemer artifacts. They're actually monitored by the Empire and are considered contraband unless you have an Imperial Charter for it. So... Yeah, 
There's like a lot of good food in here too. Let's keep looking. Weeping Bell Hall is locked. But hold on. Don't we have a... Uh, let's try our new unlock spell. There we go. No problem. We can unlock any door in the game with a spell that we made at the Mage's Guild for like a couple hundred gold. Let's see the steam running through the pipes. Okay, here's somebody. There we go. Alright. It seems that uh, NPCs that use Short Blade have the highest attack speed and they can move extremely fast. Which can be kind of scary at times. And it looks like a lot of these guys have short blades, so... See how he just moves and jukes and jives all over the place? Like, what the heck is that? Alright. It seems like we're getting pretty good... Doing pretty well in combat now. Like, I'm not that worried about... Dwemer Long Spear. I'm not that worried about uh, most enemies. They can still kill us like that Nord did earlier. But let's see. Light Dwemer Dart. Why not? I guess we could take it. I guess we could maybe use it. There's a lot of burned books. Um, what is that? Enchanted Dwemer Jink Bolt. It's a dart. It's a throwing dart. Um, Alright, let's see. I want to get as much as we can out of here. This would be a really good place to have a, uh, let's see. We should probably have some levitate, uh, potions here. It should be some, one of these. Hold on, what is it? We got jump, we got levitate three, this is 30 seconds. Yeah, we can use this here. Okay, this can take us up here. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we needed to do. Let me pop a mother's kiss, get our full health. And let's see, what's over here? I want to get as much loot out of, out of here as we possibly can. Okay, we got another damn Nord Barbarian coming at us. We might have to pop Adrenaline. Okay. There we go. I'm not sure if that was a greedy use of it, but we got it now, so let's move quickly. Alright, let's see if we can get to the main boss. Oh! There we go. Okay. Who's this guy? What's this? There's a bunch of Dwemer stuff here. Hold on. Let's see any enemies up here. I don't see any. It's just a door. Weeping Bell Hall. Okay. Well, this is a nice little, uh, find here. Let's see. Can I unlock this? Oh, wait. What am I doing? I don't have enough magicka. Failed. Okay, let's, uh, can we rest? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. There's some Dwemer stuff here. Take the resin. The rest of this, we couldn't even sell it if we brought it to a regular merchant. So, it would be listed as contraband. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta rest up. But we can't because enemies are near. Alright, looks like we got another a crossbow of evanescence. Chameleon 10% on self. That's interesting. Ruby, another Dwemer crossbow, and raw glass, I think I'm going to leave that behind. Okay. Alright, let's see, can I rest here? I can't rest here, okay. Oh man. Now this is okay, just another guy here. And there we go, we got a strength improvement. Um, fortify strength, always cool. Uh, yeah, these guys don't really have anything good on them. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to use those darts that we picked up. 
just to increase our marksman skill. Why do you always have freaking daggers? Alright, he's got shield up. It's okay, we're hitting him. When you hear those, um, like, clanging noises, that's our weapons hitting each other at the same time. And, uh, negating damage. If you haven't figured that out. Alright, we got a little bit of gold there. Bunch of kegs here. Let's just keep exploring this. Let's see what we got. Um... Wemmer coins. We can't even sell those. Ooh, okay. Diamond. Alright, chest here. We got zero chance to cast unlock. Alright, we just gotta rest. Alright, we got 68 chance to cast it. There we go. Nice. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you always gotta check the chance you have to cast a spell before you do it. Um, because that'll be affected by things like how much stamina you have, how your stats have been affected, so on. Um, let's see. Dwemer Tower Shield. That looks pretty cool, actually. That just looks like something cool. It weighs 20 pounds, though. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can unlock this. An increasingly strong oil smell seems to be coming from behind the steel doors. this. Okay. Alright, now we're on the other side. There's a spider. There we go. Yeah, these guys don't have anything but scrap metal on them. These little spiders. A hot wind flows through this corridor. Oh god, okay. We got ghosts. Dwarven inspectors, to be exact. Haunted souls of the Dwemer. The deep elves. Alright, let's just deal with them the best we can. There we go. At least the Daedric uh, can attack uh, spirits. Daedric weapon. Got an athletics increase. Dwemer door ancient. Key to two steel and iron doors within the Dwemer ruin of Nuchardams, east of Molagmar. Dwemer cuirass and journeyman's hammer. Take the hammer. Alright, well, we got a key down here. Jar of Grease. Spoiled Dwemer Oil. Fortify Magicka. What is all of this stuff? Huh, let's take out our lantern. Let's actually use a candle, that's good. That works. That's just some Dwemer armor. Man. Alright. I guess we could take the schematics. That might be cool to have. It's empty. Ah, whatever. Omsivi Intervention Potion. Old Dwemer book. Let's take it. Civi intervention defective. Healing defective. This casts both them, Civi and Divine Intervention at the same time. Levitate, train speed, recall and mark on self. Juiced off feather defective. Interesting. There's like defective scrolls here. Alright, let's just keep our sword at the ready. I can hear more. Dwemer guys here. 
I've ever been to this part of this uh, of this dungeon before. I don't remember ever being here before. Let's see all this. It must have been added in. Whoa! Luminarium spider. It's got like little. Whoa! Okay. Gotta be careful. There's new enemy types here I've never seen before. Alright, I think we got what we were supposed to get out of here. What are these potions? jar of grease? I don't know what to do with those. Alright, let's just get out of here. Spear NPC? What the hell was that? Alright, let's see. Whoa. Okay, I'm getting hit by... Yeah, that weakens you a lot, that, uh, that trap. Okay. There we go. That's a lot better. Man. You gotta watch out for those traps. They weaken you a lot. Alright, let's get these. Alright, we're going back up this way, and I think we're gonna finish up this dungeon now. I think we know where to go. Um, let's see. Should I take any of this? Sour wine? On Oblivion? Don't touch my bread. Yeah, this is where they're just cooking up all of their food here. Alright, let's see. We should be able to... Oh, it's locked? Huh. Strange. Let's see if we should rest for an hour. And then unlock that. There we go. And there you are. Let's take this guy out. We got a skeleton with one hit. Boss Credo. Got your ass. And there's the thing we need. We got the Dwemer puzzle box for Caius. That was what he wanted us to get. This guy has a bunch of stuff. We'll take the levitate. I don't know. Sure. We'll just take some of this stuff. Um, I don't know what else he's got here. Um, let's see. He's just got a few crates. A good skooma pipe. Well, maybe we should take this. Why not? And, uh... Yeah, let's see. Anything in these crates? Alright, well, we just stepped out of that, uh, Arkanthan dungeon. We got a whole bunch of stuff. We got something for Kai's, and, uh, looks like that is closing, and a... I don't know if, if a sandstorm is coming or not. It looks like something is forming in the sky, and we got a little bit of a storm. But we're just gonna go back to Balmora now, and, uh, bring this back to Caius and complete that quest. And then we're gonna probably also sell some of the loot that we got. So we got a bunch of diamonds and emeralds and rubies and stuff in there. We're gonna sell that, get a bunch of gold, and uh, probably relax at our home in the evening then. So yeah, we'll go back to Balmora and take it from there.
Alright, so it, we actually have to go back here to the Fighters Guild and talk to Hasfat and Tabalus about this uh, Dwemer puzzle box. So let's go talk to him, see what he says. And we just got another level up. Everything you do is a bit easier, more instinctive, more satisfying. As though you've suddenly developed keen in senses and instincts. Alright, and here we are. Okay, did you do that little favor? Yes, I did. Perfect, just what I was looking for. Let me take the box, blah, blah, blah. Alright, um, sixth house and the Nerevarine. House Dagoth is the sixth house, the lost sixth house. Alright, um, okay. Alright, he's telling us all about the prophecies. And I think we're good. I think that's all we had to do here. Um, yeah. We can just keep asking him about stuff. But he's gotta go now. Alright, whatever. We got let's that done. Hear. And uh, let's go back to Caius now and see what he has to say. Whoa. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth er calls you, Jalmus, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house has, has risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Whoa, okay. That guy just randomly said some creepy stuff to us on the street. So it seems that things are starting to change around here. But, uh, let's just get our little candle out. Um, and let's go see Caius. Man, things are starting to get a little spooky Why around you, here. Think you can it's anyone. starting to get light, late at night. We're going to have to go back to our house, but let's talk to Caius. Um, Alright, these notes are from Hasfanatabolus. You got some new orders. And we have to... Okay, we have to go to the Belmore Fighters Guild, get Sharn Grab Musgob to tell you about the Nerevarine, and she, she'll and do what she asks. Report back when she's given the information. Alright, very good. Um... Got a little little reward there. Now let's see, why don't we celebrate in true Caius Cossades fashion. And um, where is our... Oh, there it is. Good skooma pipe. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, why don't we smoke some moon sugar to celebrate? Yes? Yeah, Caius is like, yes, smoke that. And uh, we're going to get a little zooted off of the moon sugar now to celebrate. And, um, whoa, Caius, you're really looking trippy, my guy. Let's go for a walk. Whoa. Oh, whoa, okay. Leave me. This is what moon sugar does to you, bros. So we gotta be careful. Oh, man, the paranoia is gonna set in. We just gotta make it, make our way through the streets and get back home. So we can rest for the night. But, uh, yeah, this is certainly unusual. Um, whoa, whoa, okay, I cannot deal with this. Keep moving, I am scum. tripping off of that moon sugar, my guy. Off that good skooma pipe. Alright, let's make our way back to our house here. We're almost there. Oh, man. We're tripping out. But I think we're able to get back home. Oh, okay. Well... We made it back home in one piece. Um, I think we're gonna rest up now. But, uh, we're just tripping out on some moon sugar. But if you like this episode, drop a like, subscribe for more, and, um, we're finally back. We're gonna keep this going, and, uh, I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.